Hi, and welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to do some book recommendations. Make sure to click all the buttons below so that you will know when I'm uploading again, which I should upload once a week. So today we're going to talk about deep, dark, watery depth vibes and books that kind of fall like under that nautical theme, but not like in a cheesy way. You know, it's going to be like kind of like mysteries and death and piratey, that kind of vibe. And we're going to split this into two parts because I didn't want to make the video like too long where you're just like sitting here listening to me ramble on about books and stuff. So yeah, this is going to be a two part series. So let's get started. And the first book we're going to talk about is A Superior Death by Nevada Barr. If you have not read Nevada Bar, I highly recommend her. I think her books are just really easy and fun to read. This book in particular is part of the Anna Pigeon series, and this is the second book. This is definitely one of those series that you can read out of order. Um, that's kind of how I first started the series. I just kind of popcorned around, and then I eventually like started reading them in order, but honestly, you don't have to read them in order, that's perfectly fine. Okay, so the reason I like the Anna Pigeon series is because, first of all, Anna, the main character, is this super independent, strong female who just kind of is living her life. And she has love interests along the way and she has friends along the way, but she really is just like her own person. She has no attachments. And all of her, all of these books revolve around her being a park ranger and moving around from park to park. So each book is set in a new national park where Anna is working and she has to solve a murder at the national park. So if you kind of like those outdoorsy type books with like a little bit of mystery thriller in there, these are really right up your alley. And this book, A Superior Death, is located in the Isle Royale National Park, which is by Lake Superior. And as Anna is there, she has to take someone down to do like a diving permit or something because people want to go diving in Lake Superior. Anyway, they get down, they get down there and there's an old cargo ship and there's like a freshly dead man in the cargo ship. So the whole book is her trying to figure out how this guy got murdered and how he got put in the cargo ship. And the whole vibe of this book is just very dreary, like gray, rainy, black waters, you know, scrupulous people diving in sub degree temperatures. Like it's a whole mood and I'm absolutely here for it. This book really fits the watery depths category for me because it's just, it's so gloomy the whole time. And Anna is just amazing. Like, if this was the first book you've read of her, it's a great showcase of who she is as a, as a person. So I highly recommend this one for the watery depths category. And if you like mysteries and things like that, let's move on. Um, the next one that we're going to talk about is The Devil in the Dark Water by Stuart Turton. And this is the second Stuart Turton book I've read. I read The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle so a few years ago. And I really liked that one, so I read this one too. This one is set in 1634, and we have two main characters right off. One is a detective named Samuel Pipps, and the other is kind of like his bodyguard slash assistant and his name is Aaron Hayes and definitely the star of the book Mr. Hayes. So Samuel is actually getting arrested and they're all getting put onto a ship to go to Amsterdam and he's gonna face trial and all this other stuff. So before they get on the boat something happens and like the ship gets marked for death which in the 1600s very superstitious time period and so it becomes this whole thing, like finding out what's going to happen and how is the ship going to make it to Amsterdam and what's happening on board. And the whole book is just kind of set around them getting to Amsterdam while being on a cursed ship, basically. 
And the biggest question is like, is it actually a supernatural, supernatural happening? Or is someone sabotaging the trip that's on the ship already? So biggest problem with this book is it has a huge cast. So we have Samuel and Aaron who are, are pretty much our main characters, but we also have the entire crew that's on the ship. And then we have all these extra passengers, which would be like really stately people. Think like governors and political figures and things like that from the 1600s and their wives and uh, mistresses and children and things like that. So there are a lot of people in this book and that can make it really hard to keep it all straight. But however, even though there was a lot going on, I did really like this book. It gives this very like Sherlock Holmes mixed with Pirates of the Caribbean's vibe and I was totally there for it. The ending, I didn't love it, I didn't hate it. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. I highly recommend it. Let's move on. Um, the next one we're going to talk about is Never Never by Brianna R. Shrum. And this could also fall under the fairy tale retelling subcategory, which I will make a video about that at some point because I really do love fairy tale retellings. But this is more of a origin story for Captain Hook. And it's great. So we're starting with James Hook as a child in London. And, you know, very classic Peter Pan comes in the window and says, come away with me to a land where you never have to grow up. James is kind of one of those children that has like an old soul and he like already wants to be a grown up. But he's like, hey, you know, a little adventure. Sure, let's go. So they go to Neverland and James kind of realizes that he wants to go back home. And Peter's like, no. You don't go home from Neverland like this is where you stay and you're going to stay here and you're never going to grow up and you're going to hang out with me and be friends with me forever. So this very much paints Peter Pan as the villain, which I, I was really, really into because everyone kind of views Peter Pan as this like hero and it's like basically he stole a bunch of boys and put them on an island. It's a little weird. So I really like this book because I, I love seeing James Hook's origin story and basically he he grows up to be the only man in Neverland and Neverland is this magical place where there are no grown-ups so of course James Hook being like the only grown-up in Neverland is the most hated person in Neverland so um I think that Brianna did like such a good job with this book because I just I really felt for James Hook and I really loved it and I really hated Peter Pan <laughs> which was the goal. So I think that she did really great. It has very piratey vibes and like lost in the jungle type feel. And the reason I put it under this watery depths vibe is because it's, you know, piratey. And it's James Hook. I mean, he belongs in the watery depths category. So I really enjoy this. If you really like fairy tale retellings and things like that, or villain origin stories, this book is definitely for you. Look into it. Okay, so that's all for today. Like I said, I will make this into a part two because I definitely have some more titles that fall under the watery depths vibe category. Let me know what you would like to see on my channel, more recommendations, um, certain categories you wanna see. At the end of the month, I will like review what I've read for the month and then kind of talk about what I'm looking forward to reading in the next month, things like that. Just so you know, all of my reviews and recommendations will not have spoilers. My reviews will not have spoilers. They will just say, you know, what I did and did not like about the book and the synopsis. I won't give anything away. All of my recommendations, I would not recommend a book to you if I hadn't fully read it and I didn't fully like it. I very rarely would recommend a book I didn't like because I think that's just rude. Why would you recommend a book you don't like? Unless you don't like the person you're recommending it to. Anyway, hit all of the buttons and I will be posting once a week. So thank you for listening. I hope you come back.